Welcome to vlog 2 ideation. At this phase, we are still using the double diamond model, but now we are in the solution diamond. The ideation of solution also followed multiple divergence and convergence, just like it did in the problem framing. Divergence is the process of expanding the design space in order to identify new options beyond the immediate design space. For this, we found group brainstorming to be the most suitable method. As a polar opposite, convergence is a contraction of design space by means of fusing some and discarding some other idea to create a more focused understanding of the design problem. Our chosen method for this step was inspiration card. As we didn't have much exposure to computing because of our background, a good starting point was the initial finding from our user research. We took the key findings and each of us generated three to five solutions to each problem. While doing this, we tried our best to adhere to Osborne's rules for brainstorming, which are withholding judgment built on the idea of other, generate a large quantity of ideas and free willing. One of the interesting improvisation we did in this stage was to build this spreadsheet, which we named ID Evolution Matrix. It showed all of our ideas generated through group brainstorming under one file, which we then compared and amended. We then used inspiration card to converge our ideas. We created both technology and domain cards consisting of ideas we accumulated through brainstorming. Later, we formed design concepts by a process of combination and co-creation through adding them to form multiple variations of posters. This helped us to decide features for our design. We did experience design fixation in our journey. For some reason, we got fixated on the idea of designing a dashboard. Creeley and Cardoso defined design fixation as a state of restricted exploration of design space due to biases from prior experience, knowledge, or assumption. Design fixation can have mixed consequences, both good and bad. We did experience both at our work. For example, we got fixated on the idea for dashboard, as many of us often associate learning analytics to provide some sort of report to a dashboard. However, Clear and Cardoso claims that repetition of feature can result in decreased time, increased confidence, and improved stakeholders' acceptance. So we saw this as a good side of fixation and kept this, but added and amended some features. As we got fixated on the idea for dashboard, we tried to incorporate solution to all the problems we identified in it. This suggested a solution too broad to be effective as it had too much width and too little depth to actually provide any solution to any problem effectively. As mentioned in the last talk, briefing led to the reframing of our problem and it guided us to think in a more focused way. We identified from user research that teachers have false notion of computational thinking and the whole computing session are running in a very unstructured way. With the help of frameworks such as the Monolian and Robo's computational thinking concepts and Ilias's learning analytics continuous improvement cycle, we re-ideated to find solution to specific problem. All the user's data and literature review at this point led us to come up with an idea of structured assessment which will identify students computational thinking level to make this possible we identify general framework specific concepts prerequisite to these concepts and test and monitor around those concepts so the final solution we found was designing a game-based assessment system to assess students computational thinking and a dashboard for teachers which can report of students computational thinking level on an individual and whole class level thank you very much